For this video I'm going to show how I made this crossover friendship bracelet. To get started you want to take your button and thread on your first holding cord. We'll thread through one buttonhole and then thread it through one next to that one. Matching up your tail end you can then find the centre. And pull your button to the end of the centre. And then repeat this process with your second holding cord. With the three button holes. So next you want to take your working cords and then matching the colours that you used of your holding cords, put them in the same holes in your button. Once again, match your ends and then pull the cords to find the centre. And then repeat this with your last cord. So once you finish, it should look like this. And then you can attach your button to the top of your board. And then you want to untangle your cords and put them in order. So taking one colour to one side and one colour to the other side. So taking your first colour, you want to find your shorter cords and then clip the bottom of those to the bottom of your board. And then repeat this with your second colour. So working over your first colour, you want to do square knots. So you're going over, over and through. And then under, under and through. Once you've done your first square knot of your first colour, you want to do one square knot in the second colour. Making sure that you're only working over the holding cords of the same colour. Once you've completed your first square knots, you want to wrap the cords around each other. So here I've taken the yellow cord over the purple and then taken it round again to put them back into the original order but linked together. 
So going all the way down, I'm going to always go over to start with with the yellow cord. And you can do it either way around that you want. You can take the purple cord over first if you want. But just remember to do it consistently that way every time. So after linking your cords and doing your, your second set of square knots, you want to link again. So going over with my yellow and then over again to put them back in the same order. And then again, I'm going to do square knots. And I'm going to repeat this process until I've got about almost halfway down my bracelet. So once you've worked almost halfway, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So here you want to start doing square knots without doing the links in between. So you're just going to square knot for about an inch here without linking your colours together. Once you've done this for your first colour, you can do the same thing for your second colour. Remembering to do the same amount of knots, however many you did for the first, do the same amount for your second. Again, do about an inch. So once you've done about an inch of unlinked colours, going to end up with something that looks like this. So now you can remove the cords from the bottom of the board so that you can cross them over. So you're basically just crossing one colour over the other. It doesn't have to go over from the left as mine has done. It can be whichever way you prefer. I've just done it that way. And once you've crossed them over you can reattach your holding cords to the bottom of the board but this time they'll be at the opposite side. Now you want to repeat what you did at the beginning of the bracelet. And before you do your first square knot, you want to link your centre cords again. But this time, for me, it's purple going over first. Because I'm always keeping it to the same side. So the right hand side is going over for me each time. And then once those are linked, you can start doing your square knots again. So do your first square knot of your first colour and then repeat that with your second colour. And then going over with your right hand side or whichever side you chose from the beginning, link your colours and then square knot once again. And then just repeat this until you get the bracelet as long as you want it to be.
Once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So now you want to work the buttonhole. So taking just one of your colours, making sure to do your final link, you want to attach the other cord to the bottom of your board and just keep one free now. And then taking your free cord, you're going to do hitch knots. So you're going over and then through and then under and through. And keep doing this until you've got the buttonhole as large as you need it to be. This will depend on the size of your button, so it makes sense to keep measuring it as you go along if you're not quite sure how many knots you'll need. Once you're satisfied that your buttonhole is going to be big enough, you can attach all the remaining cords apart from the one either side to the bottom of your board to close the buttonhole. Now you just want to work simple square knots over the remaining cords. You can do as many or as few as you like here. I do quite a few just to make it feel secure, but it's entirely up to you. Once you're happy you've got enough knots, you can remove your bracelet from the board. And you'll end up with something that looks like this. So now you want to trim and seal your ends. So you can just snip off the end and then seal with a lighter or glue if you prefer. Once you've sealed over the knots, you can cut off any remaining tail ends and do the same. And now you just want to try your bracelet on. And that is your completed bracelet.